Hey everybody, it's Lex from Admin Arsenal. I'm going to take you through setting up DFS on Windows Server 2012 R2. Okay, a couple of things you need to know about this. One, you got to have both your servers set up so we can do replication. I'm not going to take you through that. I'm just going to take you through adding the roles and setting up your replication. So let's get started. I've got two machines set up. I got Server 1, which has got the gray background, which is called Site 1, and I got Site 2, which is the red background. We're going to start on Site 1. On the server manager, you need to go to Manage, Add Roles and Features. I've never read this, and I don't plan to, so I'm going to skip right past that. We are adding role or feature-based installation here. We are doing it on Site 1, so give that a Next, and that should give, our, guess, give us our options. We're going to go under File and Storage Services, expand that. If you scroll down, you'll see DFS namespaces and replication. On your main site, you need to do both of those. Okay, it's going to come up and ask you if you need the added features. Definitely take those because you need them. Okay, and then we'll also click DFS replication. Give it a next, next, and an install. So site one's installing. Let's jump over and install site two. So again, server manager. We're going to go under manage add roles and features. A couple of nexts. That's our site we want. And again, we're going to go to File Storage Services. And on this one, we don't need names, DFS namespaces. We just need replication. Okay. Add the features again. Click Next, Next, and then Install. Okay. This is going to take a minute to install. While that's doing that, I'm going to jump back over to Site Server Number One. We're just going to let that install. And then I'm going to take you through setting up namespaces. Now, what is namespaces? That's basically how you're going to call your shared um, file area that you're replicating. So, uh, again, it, instead of just like a server name and a file, it's going to be your namespace and then the replicated folder. So, all right, this is done. We're going to hit close. And then we're going to go over and jump right to DFS management. So when the DFS manager comes up, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go and right click on namespaces and make a new namespace. Okay. Since we are setting this up on site one, that's the name of our server here. We're going to put that in. Okay. Now the namespace name settings, again, this is what you're going to be calling. So we're going to call this LMFAO. I don't know what that's an acronym for, but that's what we're going to call it. Give it a next. Okay, at this point, you can either set up a standalone namespace or a domain-based namespace. I'm going to go with domain-based. It's significantly easier. And there's a summary of what we're setting up. Give it a create, and it's going to build that. Boom, done. All right, so now that we've got the namespace, you can see that under namespace is dead with local LMFAO. We're going to set up our replication. So we're going to right click and do a new replication group. Okay. This is going to be multi-purpose replication group. Give it a next. Name of the replication group. Hmm. Well, let's just call it repo for a repository. Okay. It's in the domain Deadwood Local. Give it a next. Now we've got to add the servers that we want to be replicating in this group. So uh, naturally we're going to need to add site one. Okay, and then we're also going to add site two. That's the two servers that are going to be replicating together. Okay, it's going to take a minute to add site two because it's going to go verify that the proper um, roles and features are installed on site two, and then it will add it here. As soon as that's done, we'll move on. And until that's done, I'm going to drink a monster. There we go. If you had more servers, you could add them in this too, but we have the two. Okay, now we're going to do a full mesh uh, replication. That means if I put something on site one, it'll replicate site two. If I put something on site two, it'll replicate site one. Okay, if you wanted to do a hub and spoke, you can do that, but for this purpose, we're just going to do a mesh. Again, here's where you can set your bandwidth. Think about it before you set it. I'm just going to take full. Okay, and then you got to pick your primary server which is going to be site one in this case. Give it a next. 
Now, we need to add a local path. I'm going to add a folder here. So I'm going to browse. Folder site one. Hmm. Well, let's make a new folder. We'll call it repo. <laughs> Okay, we need to set our permissions here, custom permissions, we'll go edit those, we'll make sure, there we go, administrators, I'm going to add domain admins to this just to make sure we've got all the permissions we need, well, I need to learn how to spell, huh, yes I do, <laughs> There we go. And I'm going to give domain admins full control of this also. So give that an OK. OK. There we go. I'm going to hit next on that. Site 2. Path's not set. We need to go in and edit that. Okay. I'm going to have a folder called repo on that one too. Give it an OK. Path is going to be created on the servers. Great. Give it a yes. And we hit next. There's a summary of what we just set up. Looks good to me. We hit create. Permissions are set. Folders created. Connections created. Successful. Give that an OK. Or a close, excuse me. Now this is this warning comes up. Replication will not begin until configure configure. I can't even speak, guys. The configuration is picked up by members of the replication group. So this could take some time. Okay. So just so you know, you know, replication setup, you see our replication group, but you know, replicating back and forth, it may take a little bit due to how long it takes for site two to pick up the replication information. So we're gonna jump out here and take a look at our folder repo. I currently don't have permissions to this. Great. So let's go and use our, our namespace. And a good way to see this is if you right click on your folder, or excuse me, you double click on it, you'll notice replicated folders. There's a location, the direction it's replicating. There's our connections. You'll notice under replicated folders, repo is not published. That's why I can't get into it. So if I right click on that and I do share and publish the namespace, okay. I can then share and publish in the namespace so I can actually get to it. Okay. So under a parent folder and namespace, we're gonna go select the namespace we want this to be under. Apparently I've got a bunch of different replication namespaces out there, but there's LMFAO. Select that one. You'll notice here's the preview of the namespace. That's how you access it. I'm going to copy that. We give it a next. We tell it to share. Boom, there you go, it's shared. So now if I go to my file browser and I paste in my namespace, there we go. I am now in my folder repo. Take one step back, you can see there's the shared folder. And I can now start putting files that I want to replicate here, and then we'll start replicating. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's setting up DFS namespaces um, and getting your replication going. Appreciate you watching. I'm Lex from Admin Arsenal. Thanks.